Anyway, as I was saying, rule number one, never point your gun around your friends. Always point it down. Even if it's not loaded. That's not him. Didn't look like him. Okay, I knew I was going to get tested. I can't tell. That's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Who is, is he? he? Uh, I I don't remember. No. Clem, I can't breathe. I can't it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Oh no! Hello there. Get out. out of here now. Is that how your dad taught you to greet a neighbor? Yes. I've got a gun. A smart girl, I would too. But I'm not a bad guy, honey. Promise you that. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? What's your What's name? Your name. <laughs> My name is George, honey. Ignore. Pleasure to meet you. You mind if I come in for a bit? Oh, no! Would you please leave? This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Just me and, and Dad. Yeah? What's his name? I'm getting nervous. Ed. Strong name. I like him already. Where is he? He's out. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. Lockley story? Farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. Bit taller than you. Oh, big black guy, this big, and a pretty little pregnant lady. I haven't seen him. Well, that's a shame. You sure? Pretty sure. Get out. It's a lot of plates for two people. Looks like a tornado ran through here. I hate washing yeah, dishes. Well, what of it? I'm supposed to be doing the dishes. Just passing through or you've been here a while? You listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north. Looking you know what? Fuck you. Where does this go? I'll take it. Oh, I'll take it. Well, it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. <laughs> I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. No oh, shit. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. Mm. But a smart man. What, what happened, happened to, to him? him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Pull the gun! Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. Oh, shit. I fired it. I thought you said nobody's here. It's probably just the wind.
I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't yeah, get just it. leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Like you? Who's this? Oh, come on. Must be someone who lived here. Must be. Smooth. She's keeping her cool. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Uh, how do you know? know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? What's your point? What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? There's going to be a twist, isn't there? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Phew! Why, Why should I trust them? I trust them? You have a real good day now. Hmm. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? Let's lock the door. We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Can't stay here forever. Clementine. Sarah. You were with Nick, right? We gotta go find him. A man was here. What? Oh, you squealer! Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. I didn't. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Yeah, but I think he's lying. I think he was lying. What? I thought he said his name was George. George? Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Um, Did he sound different? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? Yeah, fur. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why... I get a feeling these do anything crazy. were a group and they split up. Not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Or is it the other way around? Is it like you? He's coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. I took, I took the, picture. the picture. It's my fault. No, I asked her to. It's my fault. Sarah. Jeez, be easy on her, man. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Oh, oh wait. Nice. We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes uh, back with more bad Why did you leave his camp? It's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Why did you leave his camp? Because we had to. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. I don't know what to think. Look, we gotta find Nick on our way out of here. You know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Yeah. Now, you said it was just up here? Yeah. Just I hope so. Ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just Did that come out of your mouth? It's just a tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. Uh... Why is Carver after you? Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, because she's know. pregnant. It's a long story. He he has a hard time. <gasps> to 
He's the daddy. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. So I think I've called hard it hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. I have a get out for my patients. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? I refuse to talk to you. There. Mind you, you apologize, so I guess I'll give you that. Oh. Can I have one of those? Nick. He's drunk. Get the door. At least I hope he is. Jesus. Hey, man. You got any aspirin? <laughs> asshole. Oh, you funny man. Oh, here come the tears. Pete's dead. I know, man, I do. We gotta get moving. Okay, Carver's gang showed up. Can you make it? Yeah. Yeah. Good, let's go. Hey, Clem, I just wanted to say, you were right. I'm sorry. Why is everyone apologizing to me all of a sudden? I'm sorry about Pete. Yeah, thanks. Have we all been hit by the caring love bug now? What happened back there in that cellar? Did he do something stupid? Like you can tell. Um. He got drunk. He got drunk. I was scared. God damn it, Nick. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Might as well. I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises. Uh, it I have to look for Krista. I have to look for Krista. She was headed north, right? Yeah. So are we. Look, you're going to have a better chance of finding her with us than on your own. Okay. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Ben. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. We can do it. We are strong. Come on, Nick. Keep up. I just want to add, sorry if I get names wrong. I'm really shocking with names. Five days later. 